You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, being it's like you have a light. microscope on you. So one more question before we go. What do you think dating you now is like versus when you were younger? <laughs> You want me to call somebody and have you have them answer I that mean, question? you got a strong personality, no. so I want to know. Like, I'm uh, eager because you're actually very smart. <laughs> like, you're very you're a strong woman. Like, I want to know. Like, I think dating me now versus when I was younger, I'm a lot softer. Believe it or not, you know how no, it is. I can believe, I can believe that. Is. Yeah. Um, because I'm very close with my brother. I always been feminine, but I had a masculine energy mm -hmm. that I didn't understand that how was to. Just all them, period. Yeah, I didn't understand how to really so like embrace him, mm -hmm. the him side of myself with her. I was, I would think that being like resting in my femininity would equate to me being weak. Mm. And so, what I do know, what I know to be true now, as a grown, grown woman, that's my superpower. Right. So I'm okay with. Go ahead and do all the things a man is supposed to do. You're supposed to do that. I wanna, I'm wanna. i going to give you a little bit of, not a damn so in distress, but I'll give you a little bit of she. Right. You know, and let you, let your masculinity sign, like, let that, put that on a pedestal and let that be the highlight. And I can say that's what the genuine difference is. Particularly, I'm speaking to about black men, have a lot of just onus on them and no one to really just uplift them. Mm -hmm. So I've learned to come with a more loving approach a more um, empowering approach, and I can say that's what the biggest difference is. Nice. Period. What about you, girl? Mm -hmm. Well, you are your younger. You so. Lori's so <laughs> young, child. Not This is a regular woman right here, and she seems so much more feminine than these two sitting across from her. She's just a regular woman. She has the gift. Not Tiana Taylor, not that um Lori Harvey. Look at Lori Harvey right here. L Lori Harvey is sitting here looking totally just lost. You're actually very <laughs> smart. Like you're very, you're a strong woman. Like I want to know. Like I think dating me now versus when I was younger, I'm a lot softer. Believe it or not, you know how no, it is. I can believe, I can you know believe that. Yeah. Um, now come on, Tiana Taylor. You can believe it, but you haven't applied it. Like it seemed like you've been married. I mean, and you've gotten more masculine. I mean, Tiana Taylor looked good, but you've seen her on stage humping women. Letting, you know, riding women like they, you know, like she another guy, you know, wearing all these clothes. Like you ain't embraced femininity since you've been married to that guy. It's more like, you know, the roles are reversed in your relationship. So you really don't, you can understand what she's talking about, but you really don't know what she's talking about. Because I'm very close with my brother. I've always been feminine, but I had a masculine energy mm -hmm. that I didn't understand That's how to. call him, period. Yeah, I didn't understand. This is what Cameron was just talking about. How he said he'll never date another woman from Harlem ever again. He was like, when you leave and go somewhere else, you'll never want to date another woman like that. And I don't, look, I'm not knocking Harlem, but you women got to get it together. I understand how to really so like embrace him, mm -hmm. the him side of myself with her. I was, I would think that being like resting in my femininity would equate to me being weak. Mm. And so what I do know, what I. You hear that? Mm. And then you just see Lori Harvey being lost yet again, man. She looked like she's the most lost that she's ever been in an interview. She don't know. Like, she just left, like, the what women would say the man of their dreams is. And now she's just stuck at square one again, looking stupid. I know to be true now, as a grown, grown woman, that's my superpower. Right. So I'm okay with... Go ahead and do all the things a man is supposed to do. You're supposed to do that. I want to, I'm going to give you a little bit of, not a damn so in distress, but I'll give you a little bit of she. Right. You know, and let you, let your masculinity sign, like let that, put that on a pedestal and let that be the highlight. And I can say that's what the genuine difference is. Particularly, I'm speaking to about black men have a lot of just onus on them and no one to really just uplift them. Mm -hmm. Amen, sister. And that's why you're going to be happy and have the true things that create ha that equate to happiness and um and fulfillment. And these two women sitting across for you are looking at you in awe. And you better believe that they looking at you with jealousy, too. 
They can't be, they don't embody, you're more feminine like that. You're just embodied in femininity right now. And the two of them sitting over there looking masculine as hell. What the hell does, uh, what's her name got on in this blue puffer jacket? And what the hell does Laurie Harvey have on sitting there looking like the military brat from, from hell, my nigga? What, what does she got on? Hats and to the back, like they look like a Leah, like they trying to mimic a Leah hat to the back. But this woman then blew they damn mind. I'm talking about she blew they mind. They don't even they like they're in awe of her and they're celebrities with millions of dollars. What I tell you, ladies, your true superpower is what she already told you. But men have been saying this for the longest. And people like Lori Harvey, women like her, like again, with what this woman is saying. Lori Harvey's mind is blown because she just left Michael B. Jordan, the man that women will say that they want, man got money, look, status. She just left him to just go to for what? Just go beat her up, sitting next to Tiana Taylor, just looking stupid, not even knowing, having all of these gifts of femininity that this woman got. Bravo, sister. You schooled them. Mm -hmm. So I've learned to come with a more loving approach, a more... Um empowering approach and i can say that's what the biggest difference is nice period mm, asking lori harvey she ain't got nothing to say that lady didn't melted her brain meltdown Shh, finish her like that lady just pretty much just was saying some things that she don't even grasp and it's not about age because tiana like even though you're married you don't i mean i'm pretty sure and she um tiana taylor doesn't dress like that around um her husband and do i but you but the image you try to portray and the stuff you put out in the in the world is not that's not becoming that's not empowering your husband i'm gonna just say that he's just too much of a you know if he, he's more of a one of those passive simp guys like who just don't care you understand until it starts to affect him directly but Lori harvey doesn't understand the concepts of femininity and it doesn't matter in age you have some young women who are who man they straight out the gate understand they don't want to be like their mother they don't want to be a single mother so and, and they you know you could just see the example now it's, you know there are women who are like this not all the times in our community but there are women who come out and they are just, they do not want to be the go do the song and dance with baby mama. They want to be married. They want to be wives and have a family. And they go attain that because they, first of all, work on the things that embody femininity to be able to empower man. No matter what you look like, you will destroy him when you come in with when masculinity and masculine energy and foolishness. Sorry, this is what it is. But salute to you, sister. You did your thing, you know, and we need more sisters like you schooling and talking instead of Lori Harvey's and Tiana Taylor's. Yeah, what about you, girl? Mm -hmm. Well, you are your younger. You so Lori's so 